Okay, so a while back I got a comment from a guy called Frank on my Norwegian Tracks video and he informed me that there is a version of Arctic Circle Raceway for a set of Corsa, but that it was never finished and so it's a bit rough. This being one of the better known racetracks in Norway, I was immediately interested. And so I found a version that seemed to have gotten some updates. Good guy Frank later sent me the version he had and so today we take a look at Arctic Circle Raceway and the two different versions that I now have. So first, for those like me who is not too informed on Arctic Circle Raceway, it's the most northern track in the world, just 13 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle. Located in Muirana, Norway, the track opened in 1995. It's 3.7 kilometers long and has a width of 11 to 13 meters. The track has 12 turns and more than 30 meters of elevation. According to racingcircuits.info, it is fairly underused, with most of the activity being track days and training events. They write that it's a pity, as it's probably one of the best layouts in Scandinavia. The track's highest level racing has been the Swedish Touring Car Championship, of which it hosted rounds regularly between 1999 and 2004. Okay, so that's the facts. Let's take a look at the track in Assetto Corsa, and we will start off with the unfinished one that Frank sent me. Just starting, you can clearly see that this is a work in progress, with visuals not looking as good as they could be in Assetto Corsa. The road surface is kind of wonky, not visually, but you will feel that the surface isn't really great, especially when driving really fast cars. But for the enthusiasts of this track, the layout seemed pretty accurate. Note that I have never been to the track or know much about it. I have just compared with Google Maps and Street View. But yeah, it's a good way to get familiar and play with the track. So I did two test runs of this track, one with the Formula 1 2022 and one with the Honda Civic BTCC car. And as you can see, the F1 car has severe issues on this track. The uneven surface make it bounce around and it struggles to get grip, which makes it hard to turn and accelerate at the most uneven spots. The Civic though, as you can imagine, worked a lot better. Still a bit shaky on the wheel and you can clearly notice the uneven surfaces, but driving wise it's not an issue. So if you go into this track I will recommend driving sensible cars, as the more extreme cars will not feel great on it. Over to the revised version I found online. This is mostly the same track as the previous mentioned, but with some improvements. And jumping in, the most noticeable for me was the grass, at least until I started driving. The grass makes the track come a bit more alive, but other than the grass, scenery around the track is still not great. Not that important, but what is important is the improvements to the track surface which was the biggest issue with the original track. The surface has now been evened out, and even the F1 car can drive around it with no awful bouncing. And if there is no issues with the F1 car, there shouldn't really be with any other. The changes are less noticeable with the Civic, but the drive is smoother. So I have been driving these tracks quite a lot lately to really get into it. Mostly the revised version. And it's a great track, quite short, but with very interesting layout. I would really recommend downloading one of these and try it out. It's probably not a track many is familiar with, as it's not used for any big events. So yeah, I've had a great time looking at these. And due to the track surface, I would recommend the revised version. But that's it for me. Links are as usual down below. Oh, and a fun fact, 
13 minutes and 8 seconds is the lap record for running, according to Wikipedia anyway. Thanks to Frank who sent me the version of ACR that he had. And if you want to contact me, you can do so in the comments or you can send me an email. Like, comment and subscribe if you'd like. Thanks for watching and goodbye.